Welcome to Tech with Adul Amir. In this video, we are going to start a new tutorial about PySpark. Now, we will be learning a lot of things about PySpark, but before we will uh, jump into the PySpark, we would like to take a look on some definitions. Uh, I know I'm not providing a lot of more details here, such as uh, for Apache Spark, how the architect work, how it does look like, uh, what is driver, what is executor, and how those all nodes and clusters work together here. But uh, I want to keep it simple for the PySpark. But we'll take a look on the definition and move forward. So what is Apache Spark? Apache Spark is an open source distributed computing framework designed for big data processing. It was developed by UC Berkeley in 2009 and now it is one of the most powerful tools for the handling massive data sets. Now before we were having Apache Spark, we had Hadoop and Hadoop is, uh, it was slow. Now, uh, Apache Spark is 100 times faster than Hadoop because it uses the in-memory computer. Now, uh, Apache Spark is faster than Hadoop because uh, the, it's processing data in memory instead of uh, slow disk-based operations. Uh, so that's the kind of normal definition you have. Now, supports multiple uh, workloads such as uh, batch, uh, streaming, machine learning, and graph processing. Uh, now scale, uh, you can scale it very easily, it runs on clusters with thousands of the nodes. Uh, you can in install uh, on your own premises uh, where you have uh, uh, multiple nodes, you can keep adding more nodes and all that. Or uh, what you can do, you can use the cloud uh, providers. Uh, we are going to use one of the um, um, service uh, from uh, the Azure and we'll use the Databricks uh, on the Azure. And it will uh, let us uh, create the workspace uh, where we'll be able to write our code uh, in the notebooks and it will also give us option to create the clusters and we can define the number of nodes we would like to use to run that code. Now let's talk about PySpark. PySpark is simple the Python API for the Apache Spark allowing us to use a Spark with Python instead of Scala or Java. So why we want to use PySpark? Python is easy to learn, great for data engineers and scientists, leverages Spark speed, handle big data in scalable way, integrates with Pandas, NumPy, and machine learning libraries. So that's why we want to learn PySpark because it's easy to work and the developers such as like me who does not know the Java or Scala, it is very hard for them to code for the Apache Spark coding when we want to process a large amount of data. With the PySpark, I will show you it is very easy and we will be able to uh, perform a lot of operations on the different uh, data frames uh, and uh, read the data from uh, uh, file systems or write uh, and uh, all those kind of things we'll do in the next slides uh, or next videos. Now let's take a look uh, the differences between Apache Spark and uh, PySpark. Now first of all the language. The language Apache Spark is primarily written in Scala and supports Java. PySpark uh, is a Python API for Spark. And the ease of use, uh, Apache Spark is more complex uh, as Scala and Java requires more setup uh, and uh, verbosity. Now, PySpark is easier for beginners as Python is more user friendly. Looking at the performance, uh, Apache Spark uh, native uh, Scala is faster as it runs directly on the JVM. And uh, PySpark is slightly slower due to the Python overhead, uh, though it still runs uh, Spark uh, under the hood. So due to the overhead, it will be a little slower. Now with the community support, uh, you have uh, this uh, Apache Spark has a strong support since uh, it was uh, launched in 2009. PySpark community uh, support is growing rapidly as uh, Python adoption increases uh, over the uh, years. Now for the, what is Apache Spark is the ideal uh, for the large-scale data engineering projects uh, and PySpark is best uh, suited for Python based uh, big data and machine learning applications uh. So thank you very much for watching this video in next video We will create uh, our Databricks uh, cluster and uh, start writing some code